I want to see what changed in my editor when I'm, you know, editing. I'm working hard, adds, edits, deletes. I go away, then come back. Uh, what was it that I did? Let the IDE's gutter show you. Green shows additions. Blue means changes. The expando triangle deletions. But wait, there's more. Click to see an inline diff and actions such as rollback. All right there in your editor. No losing your flow. That's quick glance. Let's take a deeper look. It's easy to forget what you did an hour ago. For example, you're cranking out something big. This tip. You're adding new lines of content. You're changing lines. You're deleting lines. You spent hours in thought. Feels good to get it all written down. You then go away to do some other work. When you come back, you've lost your train of thought. What were you doing? What had you done? VCS could help. You can do it the caveman way from the command line. Or you can use the IDE's nice git integration. It will show you the changed files, but you then need to go into them and go through a diff. And the listing will show you every change in the project. What you want is something in the editor to use while you're editing at a glance. What's changed? So you can stay in the flow. <laughs> Seeing what changed and staying in the flow, that's what we're good at. Use the IDE's gutter markers to spot changes with just a quick look. Changed regions have a color block. This region was added. It's in green. This region had an edit. It's in blue. This region had the line contents deleted with a blank line in its place. It's in you know, whatever is that color. This region had a delete. The gutter marker is now a little expando triangle. Next, perhaps you want to know more about that change. These regions are clickable. This gives you a little non-obtrusive, easily dismissed inline inlay. The inlay shows a little preview of the diff. Nice. It also has some really useful buttons. You can move between changes or roll back that change, which you will use all the time. You can launch a full diff. You can copy that change region to the clipboard toggle highlighting the change, and finally, use the change list facility to move this change out of the way. When you're done, hit escape or click elsewhere to dismiss the panel, and you're right back where you were. This tip video has mods. First, from Vazia, a reminder that you can also tackle this need with the IDE's show history for selection action. Here it is in action. Make a selection, search for the action, then invoke it, and get a pretty powerful, quite useful narrative about what happened right here. And just dismiss it to return to your work. My colleague Matt Ellis points out, use the gutter to make Git staging more usable, including with change lists. Our help pages are a fantastic resource Let's see this topic, for example, in the GoLand help. The page explains it all and then tells you how to customize those colors. What a friendly and useful feature. Let the ID help you remember where you were, what you did, and if you want to act on it. It goes without saying, he says just before saying it, click the subscribe thing somewhere around here. And if you want the fame and glory of a mention, follow JetBrains on Twitter. I'll start announcing the next topic and soliciting little add-ons from the audience. Finally, don't forget to visit this tip in the guide where we help you learn your tools, developer to developer. Thanks for watching.